Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we actually have a video that I didn't really want to record, but uh, it has to get done. Yeah, I can never ever find the right words, and there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you. And before we actually move on with the rest of this video, I have to give a huge special shout out to those of you guys who want to support the And for those of you guys who supported the channel, I'm going to be featured on the YouTube platform. So first off, shout out to Sergio Ellis, shout out to Chris Neeling, Ennis Kaya, Brian Ramos, Joey Oturi, Joshua Transinski, Stephen Holliday, David Nijin, Augustus Malins, Manny Burrito, and Jonathan Lopez. Jonathan Lopez again? Come on, man. I appreciate you. So anyways, huge shout out to all you guys. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel consistently. For those of you guys, for everyone who spent over $20, you guys' name is going to be featured on the 650i plaque. I know there's going to be a lot of you guys so far. So huge shout out to you guys. If you guys want to be shout out in the next video and featured on the YouTube plaque, make sure to check out the merch store down below. Without further ado, let's jump right back into the video. So I think the is going to go ahead and tell you guys a little something. Son, I didn't actually bring it up on my channel. I think we brought it up once, but nothing like too major. Anywho, what happened to your car? Like, I'm pretty sure you guys already know. If you guys haven't seen Thor's video or one of my videos. I think I barely mentioned it. Yeah, um, so my park, my car was parked across the street and uh, I was, it was not supposed to be parked there, you know, after during that day, but it's whatever. Um, so someone broke the door and couldn't get into that one because it had tin on it. They decided to go through the passenger side door, so both of them broke. And then it took me a whole month to get the new windows. So we're gonna install installing it. Try to see how it works. Yeah, so I've never actually installed windows before. We're doing a whole bunch of new things this week. I mean, spring, uh, now windows. Uh, this is stuff I've never done before. Actually, we're doing a motor swap pretty soon. So you guys will know for what car that is in a little bit. But yeah, someone broke into my brother's car, broke both windows. He's just like, what a shame. Like, why do people have to do this stuff? Um, so anyways, we gotta go ahead, replace both windows. I've never done it before. Let's hope to God it's not too hard. And then we're gonna start work on the 650i. But let's just go ahead and fix my brother's car. So he start driving his car. So the other is just unwrapping uh, the window right now. This is the driver's side one. It actually is tinted. This one's not tinted. I remember they went ahead and tried putting in this window yesterday. He had a really hard time trying to put it in and figure it out. We're gonna go ahead and just try to do the driver's one. If we can figure it out, then we'll go ahead and work on this one. But uh, little by little, guys. It's one of those days that we kind of have to do stuff even though we really shouldn't. It was just so dumb. It was right across the street where my other car, where my parents' car is right now. And it got broken into. We woke up. Glass was everywhere. They tried breaking into the driver's side. They couldn't get in. So they broke the, the passenger and they just left both of them shattered. Thankfully, they didn't damage anything else around the car but since they actually shattered this side uh, it looks like they just dropped some tools and they scratched up the whole door which kind of sucks i don't know if you guys can see that um but you know it is what it is we'll get this whole car polished um those scratches are pretty deep so that's pretty permanent but it is what it is we, we, but anyhow let's hope to god we can just get this car perfect today We went ahead and brought the 650i here. It's gonna do its job of a V8, and we're gonna go ahead and push this car right back and jump it. Um, we actually got the window in here. Pretty happy, honestly. We got it in really quick because it was a two-man job. We got it in super quick. We learned how to do it. Um, that was actually, installing a window is not as bad as doing a regulator. At least that's what I think. We're gonna go ahead and leave the whole door gutted because we're gonna go down and get it all vacuumed out at the, huh, Kelly's? Kelly's car. Kelly's car wash. If you guys know, if you guys live in the area, you guys know what I'm talking about. We're gonna go ahead and vacuum all that out there for free. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get the car back, jump the car, let it run, see if the windows go up and down. And if this one goes up and down, I'll be super happy. And we just have to do the other side. The other side is gonna be, a, he, yeah, he messed it up yesterday. But uh, I think he can figure it out. We'll still figure it out. Every, there's always a fix for everything. Oh my God, I love this car. It's so nice. My brother, look how neglected that is. My brother does not drive it. Oh my God, I forgot this is an aftermarket hood. There's no hood prop or anything. All right, my brother went ahead and pulled out the window switches. We're just gonna go ahead and connect that. And then a uh, moment of truth. We're about to see if we got this window working. All right, guys, it keeps going right back down. So I'm gonna try to figure out what's going on here. Guys, we have to figure out a way to initialize the window, but it goes up to a point and then it goes back down. I'm pretty sure there's some kind of like coding or something we're gonna have to do. But before we actually get into all that and just waste time and try to figure that out, let's go ahead and try to figure out both at the same time. So let's go ahead and just replace that window. is just fighting this little piece here he's trying to get all the glass out of there and then uh, I already pretty much took off the original bracket I had it completely destroyed 
got everything off of that. So it's ready for the new bracket. And then I actually have some glue that I think it'll make it perfect and it'll stick on there perfectly. Meantime, while I'm waiting for my brother to do that, I don't wanna just wait around. So I do have a new part, which is one of the halo bulbs I got for the 650i. So it, it's basically an original bulb that's supposed to match this side. So I'm hoping it would, because if it doesn't, I have to order another one for this side. But meantime, it's going to throw this in. So at least both of our halos and both of our turn signals, that all should work. So, uh, oh my God, there's so much glass on the ground. All right, let's go ahead and throw this sucker in. So it turns out the bulb that's in here for the halo is actually a separate part. I'm going to take that piece out and just replace that so worst comes to worst if these bulbs don't match i just go ahead and get two matching bulbs from my local parts store and i should be good instead of ordering this whole housing that costs uh, an arm and a leg i think it was like 50 bucks so i don't know if you guys can see that bulb is on and you guys can see the halos are also on and uh halos are also on same color and also the turn signals on so all that's looking actually they are matching pretty well i'm super happy about that okay cool so both bulbs are in there all halos are working this is in the shade that's why that that's why this one's a little bit brighter but i think they're both good as for the daytime running light it turns out it's, it's a little module so there's a resistor and a module for that bulb which is kind of insane how much things are needed but i mean hey i mean i went ahead and ordered the module and then these headlights should both be working fully and we go ahead and tackle other projects on the 650i but obviously today uh we need to make Make sure my brother's car is back on the road because we had to put a tarp over this thing for like a month so we gotta make sure both windows are on here everything's working vacuum it out and make sure you can still drive this thing because it's a perfect car but unfortunately when you have glass everywhere and two windows are shattered and you can't roll up your window it's just not practical all right guys it was our mistake but uh i think we got a new one on there let's go ahead and try to put back in this window Want the mood to be right keeping the low in the night all right guys we got the window to pretty much come all the way up but um it's not it's like it's still kind of still kind of being a little bit weird like it's it's like taking some time to come up all the way but we got the window in here which is great i don't know why we still got to figure that out saying you trying to stay positive let's go ahead and just keep playing around with it and i'll let you all know um how what happens both pro, uh, both windows, they're able to like roll down and roll up on their own power. So, I mean, not on, like they're able to work. The window regulars work. We got both windows in, which is great. But we need to initialize them, and they're not initializing from the car itself, which is kind of weird. So, anyhow, we're going to go ahead and clean up real quick, and then uh, we're going to take this down and get all that glass uh, vacuumed out because, ah, uh, this is insane. This car is a mess. But it looks hella good, though. My brother's going to go ahead and clean up all that. Uh, I just realized something, and I'm trying to use windshield wipers on my car. I actually put them on the wrong way. So when I was using the windshield off, it was shooting out this way. I didn't even know you could put it in backwards. Like yeah, it was literally <laughs> shooting out water from the front. I was like, what the hell? It's like when you're trying to piss off somebody in front of you. It was literally shooting out water like that. Anyway, let me go ahead and fix that real quick. Staying until the end. Yeah, I go how just like that, those are good to go. Okay, we're fixing two cars at once, bro. Go ahead and get all the glass off the ground and go ahead and clean up all these tools. Now that we got everything cleaned up, let's just head down to Kelly's, uh, get the car wash, and vacuum out all that glass so at least our booties don't get like shanked basically. And then we're gonna go ahead and try to figure out that coating situation. Damn, bro, you got a front end senses. I don't like to brag, but that you check know. engine light. Okay, It's been about a month, bro. It's been sitting for a month because of some guy that wanted, he literally broke it and took nothing. Yeah, it was for fun, I think. Honestly. Yeah, he literally went down the whole block and just broke everyone's windows. All right, honest to God, I think I know what they stole, bro. <laughs> we're just talking about the adapter, right? Yeah, we're talking about the adapter that goes in right here. I honest to God think they stole I, it. I realized I never took it off, right? Yeah. Maybe they saw the adapter. They broke, they broke in, they found nothing, and they're like, ooh, adapter. They took that adapter. That lets me, Imagine. I, I think, honest to God, you know? Oh, my God. All right, guys, here through Kelly, sneaky through the back, trying to use their vacuums. Shh. This ain't unlocked the door. All right, buddy. All right, well, they just told us that we can't vacuum right now because the vacuums are off, so that kind of sucks, I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, guys, we'll probably catch y'all tomorrow morning because uh, we want to wash the car, we want to vacuum the car, we want to put in the sensor, right? And we have to put together these door panels and hopefully program these windows. So uh, we'll catch y'all tomorrow. Unfortunately, I don't think we can do much today. If I could probably code the windows tonight, we'll let y'all know, but um, till tomorrow, love y'all, see you soon. Good morning, guys. So this is actually day two. We're gonna be heading down right now to get the car vacuumed. So hopefully, you know, we get all that glass out of the car and then put on the door panels and everything. The driver's door started working 100%, so this, I think that just a passenger needs some time to calibrate and all that stuff. And we are finally here, guys. So we got both vacuums. Let's go ahead and get all this glass out of here. Like, oh my God. So here's a little quick before, guys. We got glass everywhere. We got glass on glass if you guys need some. Um, you know, we got all that crystal. Anywho, um, we got all that good stuff. We're gonna and vacuum all that out. Hopefully, it comes out pretty easy. But uh, it's gonna be a little bit. Of it's gonna take us a little bit of time. I 
much got all the glass that I can visibly see out of this door. Over time, the more and more you shut the door, more glass is gonna keep falling. And eventually, like I shut the door a few times trying to get all the glass down. I got like literally everything out. But there's always gonna be a little bit somewhere. We'll take this door panel apart in a couple months and hopefully get the rest of it out. I might even end up removing the seats to get all the glass underneath it. But I got pretty much everything I could visually see. At least all the glass out of here is gone. I guess we'll catch you guys when we actually get back to the crib. So you can put on the door panels and we need to put on that sensor because you got to check engine light. All right guys, just made it home. So uh, we got the door panels. Let's go ahead and slap them on. So this car's pretty much ready to go from the inside at least. We still got to get cup holders. This car still needs a lot of little things, but for the most part, it is coming together. I'm really happy. Um, this car, we're pretty much getting it to where it was a month ago, but you know, things happen in life. Hopefully this will not happen again. It's really set back my brother, obviously. So that kind of sucks, but things happen in life, you know? So, and then it has a check engine light because of the ambient sensor. We'll go ahead and see if we can do that later tonight. We got to head out with the family. Little bit so. so for now we're just gonna go ahead and throw on the door panels and this door panel is done guys my brother's just working on his and then we're good to go we are back it's a little bit later in the day i think it's been about five hours since you guys saw us put the doors together benny all the doors are together uh, everything's together, we just need to install the ambient. Ambient sensor. So right now he has a check engine light because of the car doesn't know the temperatures from the outside. I didn't know that actually throws a check engine light and it actually messes with the idle as well, which is kind of weird. Um, my brother does have to clean off these windows. We do have to code these windows, but at least we can get them up manually, you know, little by little by clicking it like up, down, up, down. But we got the door panels on and everything. He can close the door, he can drive the car, which is good, you know, that's the main important thing. And it. It's finally back to normal. It's unfortunate what happened. Hopefully this, this will never happen again. We got most of the glass out. The thing is, when someone bashes windows, there will always be glass. There's always be shards. It'll never ever be exactly the same, but it is what it is. Anywho, we're gonna go ahead and try to figure out where the sensor goes. This is the sensor. My brother went ahead and bought an aftermarket one. Aftermarket, yeah. So let's hope to God it, it will just do plug and play and then everything should just work. But we gotta find where this actually plugs. So uh, let's find it. Yeah, so the in the video says to replace the ambient sensor, you have to remove the bumper, then go underneath this. I just went ahead and removed the grill. Went well, underneath here, found the ambient sensor cable. It's completely missing, and that's where it rests right there. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it in, and I'm gonna try to do this all without having to remove the bumper. That would be a big help, and then hopefully that should fix my brother's check engine light. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and leave the grill off. We're gonna take it out for a spin, and I think it should just fix itself, hopefully. If not, uh, we'll go ahead and clear the code, and it probably should stay away. Normally what happens, as soon as you start up the car, it would tell you the like, temperature is like, completely off, right? So uh, hopefully it won't give us any temperature issues. It feels issues. like a freezing percent. Ooh, because they got the door panels back on, bro. You know what they do. You know what they do. You know what they do, baby. Damn, how about generous. But I didn't see anything about temperature so far, so I think it's still trying to scan. RPMs are not bogging anymore. Oh, it usually bogs? Yeah, like when I start up the car, it usually bogs. and then That makes sense, though. Yeah. Okay, so that looks so far so good. Let's see if this window works. Damn. It's hella dirty, we gotta work on that, but boy! I miss my car so much. I know, dude, it's such a beautiful car. Like, guys, look at this honeycomb trim right here. M Sports steering wheel, paddles. This is the M package, so it has a black headliner, black seats, LCI. This looks so sick. Beautiful car, beautiful next car. Next car manual? Maybe, maybe. Not be your next car, you know, when, when you get rich, you know? M4, M4 uh, manual. M4 manual. Woo! My brother's like, I know, I know my wifey wants to get an M2, so you might probably gonna see the analog channel, and then my boy get an M4. Oh, and then, man. and then I get my R8. You know, it has to happen. All right, guys. So far, we took it out for a spin. It drives great, right? Perfect. No issues. I think we're gonna go ahead and just clear the check engine light instead of going through the whole cycle. It's kind of a pain in the booty. We have Carly. Let's go ahead and clear it. Get rid of that. Make this car brand new. This car had a million codes. The battery died. So, uh, oh wow, it went, oh. went away super quick. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, your brake dynamic bullshit. Isn't that the problem you had earlier? It looks so nice when there's no lights. Put on the seatbelt. We gotta, we gotta see the full... Uh... I feel like... Look at that. Yeah, that's Just gorgeous. Just look at that. That's gorgeous. You don't see that every day. God bless Carly. Oh, Alright, right. they need to sponsor me more often. Like, what is this? That being said, I think we should conclude the video together. I say, I love you guys so much. Remember... Yeah, I love you guys so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, Peace out. out. <laughs>